Hello everyone, welcome to another edition of Hometown Heroes. I'm Mike Kenichi, and tonight is part two of our interview with the legendary high school football coach, Mr. Ron Carbone. And coach, I want to thank you for coming on again. Part one was so much fun and part two is going to be even better. So thank you for coming on. Oh, you're welcome, Mike. Balanced that we did something like we got him outflanked. We ran a quick pitch and I could still see him going down the sideline for that touchdown. Right. And that was it. Once he got in there, they caught fire. Right. They caught fire. They played great defense. They were all over, pursuing all over the place and what have you. We moved the ball better and all this other stuff. So I was tickled pink for the kids. Right. Because they, they, they went through a lot. They took a lot of nonsense from everybody, too. And uh, that was poetic justice as far as I was concerned. I guess it was well known in Ansonia, too, because the Ansonia people say, you know, approached me and told me that they would <coughs> give me a phys ed job when right. I came to Ansonia. Right. I never felt good about it. It's haunted me all these years. I feel very guilty for what I've done. I, uh, I apologize to the people in Derby and to the kids in Derby for doing that. I know I hurt a lot of folks, and I carry that pain inside all of these years. Right. I've never said it before. I've never shared it with anybody, right. but I, I can do it now because there's, there'll be some kids from Derby that are watching this, and I just want them to know that I love them more than any group of kids I've ever been around in my life.